Hello and welcome back to Supposedly Fun. My name is Greg. I'm Joel. And we are actually going to be in Italy when you watch this. We're filming ahead while we're back at home in front of Joel's cookbook collection because we did, I don't know what order these are going to go in because we're filming these all on the same day, but we are going to do a blindfolded book challenge where Joel is going to pick some books from my library, try to describe them to me while I'm blindfolded, and I'll try to guess what they are. We haven't actually filmed that one yet. We're filming this one first. Um, so we thought it'd be fun to do a version of it that's more for Joel, who is a foodie. So we're going to do it with food. Yeah. We watch this on Top Chef, and I always think, oh, that's easy. But we're going to see how easy that is and yeah. how much he can stump me. So I got to be a bit of a demon <laughs> walking around the grocery store today. Picking out 10 things to bring home and that you're going to taste test blindfolded and see if you can guess what they are. And if there's cottage cheese and I throw up, <laughs> no. We'll see. To be determined. <laughs> I hate cottage cheese. Yeah, I hate cottage cheese too, actually. They we're very in sync on that. Okay. So, all right. All right. And then like? our, I assume like smell is going to come into play yep. a little bit. Yeah, taste. I, I have all my senses, but... Texture. Sight. Yeah. I can touch, smell, taste. Yeah. And, um, and I promise not to do anything gross. Okay. <laughs> At least not too gross. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to stop recording so you can put your blindfold on and I'll, I'll grab the little plates and bring them over and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. So, ready. Here Let's we go. It. We're recording. Jamie is very interested. She is. In she what we're doing. Too. She does. All right. So Joel's blindfolded. I have plates in front. We're going to... I have... Two of everything here, and I have other extras if we need more for you to taste. And also that means if something is gross and you want me to suffer with you, you can tell me to eat the other one. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start with something that will hopefully be a little easy to help you. There's the plate. We'll see. Oh, wafer crackers. Wafer cookies. Um, strawberry? Red? Strawberry? Not chocolate. Not chocolate. I'm going to say strawberry or vanilla. I think vanilla. Vanilla. It's vanilla. It's the basic vanilla. Yeah. We were actually talking about these the other night. So when I was walking through the cookie aisle and I saw them, I thought, oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> I love these. Yeah, we were talking. We both love these. Like, if you're unfamiliar, I'm going to hold one up to the camera so people can kind of see. It's like a wafer, sugar wafer cookie and it has a little bit of cream oh, God, you can get flavors but i figured vanilla would be a good basic one jamie is looking at me <laughs> so <laughs> intently okay it's sweeter than i remember it is it had been a long time all right you ready for number two yep okay nori paper oh oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Nori? No. Editor's note. Joel was right. I did not know what Nori paper is. There's more of an explanation at the end, but I figured I just wanted to insert a note here to make it clear that Joel actually got it right. And I made it more difficult for him because I wanted him to actually say seaweed paper. My bad. It's a dried vegetable. Dried. It's dry. Oh, it's earthy, very, very earthy. Mm. If it's not nori paper, I don't know. If it's not nori paper. All right. So what do you, what do you want to come back to this one? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna pass on that one, and we'll go to something that will try to hopefully be a little bit easier. I try to balance what might be hard and what might be a little easy. It's a dried fruit. Apricot? Dried apricot. Crushed it. Okay. So that's... Two for three. Two for three. All right. Here comes number four. <laughs> it's a spice. Mm-hmm. Cardamom? It is cardamom. Ground cardamom? Ground cardamom, yeah. Very good. 
I love cardamom. So do I. I figured that'd be... If you put pumpkin pie spice in my mouth, (laughs) I actually thought about it. Um, I figured... Like, I I was worried that if I did, like, cinnamon, it would be too obvious from the smell. Uh All right. Ready for number five? Uh Uh-huh. There you go. Yep. Yep. (laughs) A fruit. Star fruit. Very good. Yeah, it is star fruit. What do you think of it? It's it's good. I like it. Yeah, I love star fruit. Sorry. It's kind of it's citrusy. I had never. I think I'd eaten it before, but I. It's certainly not anything we would usually have in the house. All right. So you are one, two, three, four for five. Four for five so far. That nori paper thing is getting me. It's getting you. All right. Here's number six. <laughs> And you can't eat the whole thing. Mm, okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it some sort of a fruit gel? It is not. So the tricky thing about this is it's, I, I will tell you, it's dairy. It's a dairy free version of something, which is probably tripping Good you off yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I may have to come back to that. Come back to that one. It has a rough outside skin and it's squishy in the middle. Yeah. I may have to pass. Oh, coconut. There probably is coconut in there because it's a dairy free. Coconut. I think there's coconut milk instead of like regular because it's dairy free. Right. And there may be coconut in the, um, I don't want to say what it is, but the tougher outside. Is it a, a type of cookie? No. Okay, it was coconut something. Yeah. I'll come back. Come back. That. All right. Here. Oh, take a sip. Can you find the button? Okay. Got it. <laughs> that was kind of strong. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is number seven. Seven. Ooh. Oh. Craisin? No, I had this one I figured would trip you up, make you think it was a craisin. It's a dried fruit. It is a dried fruit. It's not a raisin. It's not a raisin and it's not a cranberry. Dried cherry? Dried cherry. Correct. I figured this would be fun because now I can bake for you. With them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cherry chocolate chip cookies. Hold on. Yeah, that'll be really good. Yeah, take a sip. Okay. Ready for number eight? Yeah. All right. This will be interesting. (laughs) Ew. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Ew. Yeah. (laughs) A day? Nope. Oh, uh, dried fig. Dried fig. Oh, dip this in chocolate? Yeah. Oh, God, that would be delicious. Fig. Black fig. Okay. <clears throat> oh, let's try. Right. Here's number nine. Very, very tart. Very. Like me. <laughs> oh. Um. Mm. Kiwi? Kiwi. Very good. Now, I googled whether or not you should leave the skin on it. It said leave it on. Was that the correct thing to do? Uh, I peel mine. Okay, yeah. I, I, that's just, a, I, I just thought it was a tough skin. Yeah, okay. All right, ready for the last one. And then we'll circle back oh. to... Really? We're at 10? Yes, we are at 10. Mm. And then, so this is number 10. And then we'll circle back to the other two.
Red Vine? It's a, it's not a red vine. It's like a ripoff of it, and it's no. a specific flavor. Oh, uh, Twizzler? No. It's licorice. It yeah. It's made to be like it. Twizzler, red vine. But it's a flavor. The flavor is the reason I got it. I'll say I'll tell you that much. Is it a cherry fruit chew? Nope. I was almost worried that the smell would give it away, but it has more of just like a gener generic like sugar candy smell than yeah. what the actual thing would smell like. It's not black. It's not black. It's, it tastes like red licorice. It's probably light on it. Uh, cause, so since it's a candy and it's an artificial flavor, I'll tell you, uh, the reason I picked it is that it's a very Montana flavor. Oh, Huckleberry. It's Huckleberry. Huckleberry had to be in here somewhere. Yes. I almost... Okay, it does. I get it. Yeah, now. I will say I almost picked a Huckleberry honey, mm. but I figured that would make a mess because you would put your like finger in it, or, yeah. and so I didn't. I All right, so I missed three, been. so let's go back to the two I did not. Yeah. So here is the first one, the one that is not Nori paper. <laughs> Editor's note, it is Nori paper. It's very distinct. I will tell you, it is not something we have ever had in our house before. <laughs> <laughs> We've eaten it, but usually with other things, not on its own. I'm stumped. It usually comes with rice. And sushi? In, yeah. I mean, it's the seaweed paper? The seaweed paper. That's what it is. Ah! Yeah. So, yeah. And I, the unfortunate thing is I couldn't find one that was not flavored. Okay. Um, so this has um, olive oil. I figured that would be the most... Oh, okay. I figured that would be the least offensive fl flavor of it. But that is could be what threw you off as okay. well. Okay. Uh. This is Greg and Joel after the video was done, uh, editing in. So Joel was too nice to correct me. <laughs> so nori paper is seaweed. So he was right. So yeah, nori paper is made out of seaweed and has the same flavors. Uh, this did have a little different mm. flavor, but it had the same texture for sure. Um, of the olive oil, because it did throw it off a little bit. But that pungent seaweed uh, was totally a nori paper. So okay, that's so right. that's my bad entirely and you were just too nice to, <laughs> to try to correct me in front of people no thank you that's really sweet that. <laughs> of you but so he was right about the seaweed after all so my got, bad so i got eight out of ten you got eight out of okay. ten i'm giving it to you so. eight and a half through licorice through me but yeah it did and then yeah. yeah so thank you yeah my bad <laughs> all right so back to this fruit chew this. thingy And I fully believe it's the dairy-free element that's tripping you up on this. Because if this was the regular version, there's I, there's no way you would not know it. It's not an ice cream, is it? No, it's not. A dairy... It's granular, and it's coconutty. So I will tell you, it is almost like a mini tart. So that's a dairy-free, like, crust oh. on the outside. Okay. Okay, I get it now. So, coconut tart? It has a specific flavor. Again, the flavor is very strong and recognizable if it's not in this dairy-free version. Okay. And we have definitely had the regular version many, many, many times. The coconut keeps on me off. I'm sure the coconut is probably the most, but but again, if it was the regular version without coconut, the regular flavor. Would come. So with Key West is where we had it. Have oh, had it. key lime. It is a dairy-free key lime pie cup. Okay. 
And again, I fully believe it is the dairy free part that's throwing you off. No, and the coconut I'm, is probably I'm getting fighting. I'm getting that acidy sting yeah. right now. But the coconut kept throwing me off. Okay, so there you go. Oh, okay. So so that's all ten. Uh, do you want me to show the labels? Do you think that would be interesting? Sure. Can yeah, I peek let me then? get. Yeah, you can peek. So let me grab the bag. Oh. All right. So running through. One more time. The first one was the vanilla vanilla cookie sugar wafer. Oh. Do you want do you want to eat that? <laughs> and that was that. Yum. Yeah. And then the second, I don't remember what the order was, so we're just gonna go. And then there were uh, dried apricots, apricot, dried cherries. This is the seaweed. So yeah, it's an oh. olive, it's an extra virgin olive oil version of it, and I, that's probably what threw off the seaweed flavor a little bit. Yeah. Um, but the only the every one that they had was flavored, and there was like a teriyaki, and I thought that would yeah. be. One maybe a little gross, but um, maybe not gross. But it would probably really overpower. So yeah. that was probably the most mild. This is the package for the key lime pie citrus cup. Suspect, right? That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> and then these are the so weird huckleberry flavored licorice. Oh yeah. 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 So that's that, um, and that's all the stuff from the packaging. Awesome. Everything else. Yeah. So. Um, Th so I think three out of the ten tripped you up, and with a hint you got the um. Because honestly, I yeah, that does not taste very huckleberry. No, at all. So the when flavor you, is the entire reason. When you know it, you can get into it and kind of get it, but it still feels like a red vine. Huckleberry is like a tart blueberry. And this doesn't even taste like a blueberry. So, no, and it doesn't smell like it. It just has that artificial like sugary. Yeah. Smell. They're good though. Yeah. So this one, in hindsight, I, I totally understand why that didn't happen. Yeah. Um. And then, again, there's a, I think there's a reason for everything. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Like it looks pale. Too. They're they're really good though because I love key lime pie and I can't eat it all the time. Actually, I want to try a bite. Mm. But you see how much coconut there is. There's a lot of coconut. The acid comes at the end. Yeah. But the coconut, because of the coconut, it's not really identifiable as key lime. Right. But so. You, you do get the liminess when you kind of know it's there. Yeah. But I kept tasting it, but the coconut just, I kept, yeah. couldn't get off my out of my head. So, the I, yeah, the dairy-free part tripped you up. But yeah. that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Maybe maybe thank we'll, you. Maybe we'll have to do that again sometime. <laughs> No cottage cheese. No cottage cheese. Oh, God. Cheese. I was thinking about cut. I did think about cottage cheese. I thought about olives. <laughs> about all, but then I don't like olives either. And the smell would have been really powerful. Yeah, and then I would have, 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 have I would have. I wouldn't even have to have tasted it. I would have known. Yeah. And I thought about those little, like, chickpea snacks. Oh, those are good. There were a lot of, like, wasabi things yeah. as well. But I don't like wasabi. I don't think you like wasabi. No. So I, I decided not to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That was fun. Yes. So, so we'll try to do it again. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, as you're watching this, we're going to be in Italy, um, but stay tuned. We'll be back yeah. and maybe we'll you know, have things while we're in Italy or else just come back yeah. when we're back. Yeah, we'll um, have a few things. Well, we will. It'll be exciting. So anyway, thank you for watching this. As always, your time is very appreciated and we will be back until right. next time. Happy reading. Thank you. <laughs>